All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we are now going to talk about the Bills' playoff win over the Steelers, um, winning 31-17. to Obviously, um, you know, got moved to Monday because of all the, uh, the snow that Buffalo got. Um, and there was still a lot of it. They were able to clear off the field. Um, but there was still, sorry, I got like this piece of hair dangling off of my head, um, in my, dangling in my face. But, um, anyways, so yeah, they cleared the field, but, um, the stands were still filled with snow. Uh, so, you know, in the game, every time the Bills scored a touchdown, you'd see the fans throwing up the snow in the air, which was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, the the Bills, I, I mean... I expected them to win this game, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, although the Steelers did make it interesting. I mean, they were down 21 to nothing at one point, um, but they were able to get it within one score. It was 24 to 17 at one point. Um, so I give the Steelers credit for at least you know making the game competitive, and they didn't just get blown out. Because it, it, when it was 21 to nothing, you're like, yeah, it's gonna be like a 40 to like you know 13 game or something. Um, but that that ended up not happening. So. We'll go through the drive summary. So the Steelers got the ball first. They punted. The Bills went right down the field. Ten play. That's that's when you knew. Okay, this is not going to be good for the Steelers. Um, they went ten plays, eighty yards, five and a half minutes of time of possession down the field. Um, and Josh Allen connected with Dawson Knox for a nine-yard touchdown. So that put the Bills up seven to nothing. And the Steelers punted. The Bills punted. Uh, Steelers on the first play of their drive. Um, George Pickens caught a pass um, that ended up getting reviewed. Uh, that he did indeed fumble, so the Bills got the ball back. And literally one play, um, Josh Allen connected with uh, Dalton Kincaid, the other tight end, the rookie tight end, for a 29-yard touchdown. So, yeah, that put him up 14 nothing. Then the Steelers actually put together a nice well, – well, first both teams punted. Um, and then the Steelers were putting together a nice drive. Um, actually, it started off with a 33-yard reception by Pat Fryermuth. He fumbled, and I'm just really confused – on that because the the refs then said yeah he didn't end up fumbling the ball um and um i mean he did fumble but like i guess he could because when he was out of bounds it must have touched him so that so they ended up like you know getting the ball back i guess but it just doesn't i I, you look at the replay it like looks like it didn't even hit his helmet because they were zooming in on his helmet that the ball hit his helmet but I, i don't know i i honestly that was not the right call, I don't think. Um, so the Steelers, they kept the ball. Um, and they got down the field. They got to the Bills' four. And then Mason Rudolph threw his first pick since taking over as the starter or for the Steelers. You know, it's, it's, since he took over um, as the starter for the Steelers. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was intended for Deontay Johnson. And... Uh, yeah, so that fumble really didn't even matter. So then the Bills, um, they ended up getting another touchdown, and that was from a 52-yard run by Josh Allen. Um, just nobody could tackle him on the Steelers. He just went right by him and took it to the house, and that put them up 21 to nothing. Then the Steelers punted, and then uh, the Steelers then blocked a field goal on the, on the Bills' next drive, which then led to uh, seven points. Uh, Mason Rudolph connected with Deontay Johnson for a uh, 10-yard touchdown. Um, So the Steelers were down by two scores at the end of the half. Um, Then the Bills punted to start the second half. Uh, The Steelers ended up kicking a field goal. Um, Chris Boswell, that was a 40-yard field goal, so that made it 21-10. Then the Bills kicked a field goal, so so then it was 24-10. And then the Steelers went 12 plays, 75 yards, 6 minutes of time possession, Mason Rudolph connected with Calvin Austin for a seven-yard touchdown. So, yeah, and then you thought, okay, here come the Steelers. Um, And then the Bills, they got a touchdown, the final touchdown of the game. Um, Josh Allen connected with Khalil Shakir for a 17-yard touchdown. That was on a second and nine. And and Minka Fitzpatrick had Shakir. He was, you know, you thought, oh, this is going to be a tackle, and it's going to be third down. And Shakir was able to break it, and he ended up scoring on that. Um, so talk about bad tackle. I mean, that was a bad tackling play. I mean, not as bad as the Eagles' effort, you know, in the later game, but still, that was bad. So, yeah, that put them up by two scores. The Steelers turned it over on downs. The uh, Bills missed another field goal. The Steelers got the ball back, but it didn't really matter. Um, that ended up being the end of the game. And, yeah, the Bills move on. 
Um, for the stats of the game, Mason Rudolph, he went 22 of 39, 229 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Um, the Steelers really didn't run the ball that effectively. I mean, also they were playing catch up, but early on in the game when the game was still close, they just really couldn't run it. Um, the Bills did a nice job containing them, both the running backs. So Jalen Warren had 38 yards on the ground. Najee Harris had 37. Um, Pat Fryermuth was the leading receiver. He had five receptions for 76 yards. George Pickens had five for 50. Deontay Johnson, four for 48 in touchdown. Calvin Austin also had a touchdown. Um, and as for the Bills, Josh Allen went 21 of 30, 203 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions in this game. Um, and they ran the ball for almost 200 yards. They had 179 yards on the ground. James Cook had 79. Josh Allen had 74 in a touchdown, the 52-yard touchdown run. And then um, Ty Johnson had 26 yards on the ground. Dalton Kincaid was the leading receiver. He had three receptions for 59 yards and a touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 7 for 52, so they kind of kept him in check. Uh, Deontay Hardy had a big reception in this game, a 34-yard reception. Khalil Shakir had 3 for 31 in a touchdown. And Dawson Knox only had the... Nine yard touchdown reception. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, for the Bills, yeah, they um, played a good game. Josh Allen, no turnovers in the game, which I thought there would be at least one interception, but no, he played a clean game. Um, but, you know, they, uh, they did kind of take their foot off the gas pedal because the Steelers then all of a sudden they started slowly getting back into the game. And yeah, it was a one score game at one point. Um, but then they got obviously the Shakir touchdown. And, um, and yeah, they, uh, they're they moving on, and now they're going to be playing the Kansas City Chiefs next week. But this time, it's going to be in Buffalo. So um, Patrick Mahomes is going to be playing his first road playoff game in his career, which is going to be, um, which is going to be interesting to see uh, how that plays out. Um, I'm really looking forward to that game. Um, but, um, I mean, I, I, I expected – this I, I mean I, I just I expected Josh Allen to turn the ball over the game was close at one point but it wasn't due to any turnovers um you know I mean the Bills when they were up 21 to nothing I just thought you know the Steelers there was really going to be uh no chance for them to come back but again I mean they, they they fought they were able to you know like I said um you know get it to within one score but there, there was really never a moment where you thought yeah the Bills are going to uh you know, blow this game, um, unless, again, Josh Allen turns it over, which he didn't, um, you know, and, and they leaned on James Cook a little bit, which is something that, you know, they should continue to do, um, you know, with it, if something's working, don't go away from it, you know, um, I mean, he didn't have a monster game, but, uh, you know, the Bills as a team did run the ball very well, um, you know, between him and Josh Allen, um, and again, that's part of Josh Allen's game is being able to run the football. Now, again, I don't want him doing that. You don't want myself and, and other people don't want him doing that a lot because you don't want to, you know, him to end up like Cam Newton, where you take too many hits and then it eventually, you know, wears on you. Um, but, um, you know, it, that, that's something that they got to continue to do. And listen, it paid off. They got a you got a 52 yard touchdown run, you know, which was huge in the game. Um, but really, uh, you know, the Bills were the better team here, you know, and, and for the Steelers, you know, there, there's some question marks and at, in, uh, in Mike Tomlin's press conference, you know, somebody was asking him about, you know, him having one year left on his contract and he walked out. Um, so that's something to keep an eye on, you know, if he's coming back, you know, cause now Mike Tomlin ends up leaving Pittsburgh. I mean, that's just another, that's just the latest domino to fall. Um, you know, when we talk about the, uh, the coaching carousel at the end of the show, um, yeah, it, it's just, uh, you know, the Steelers, yeah, they, uh, they, they got some holes they gotta, they gotta fill. Um, and also the quarterback position too, you know, Mason Rudolph did a nice job, you know, was able to help them get into the playoffs. But when you look at the quarterbacks that are left, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, CJ Stroud, Lamar Jackson, the Steelers... They don't have that. They don't have that, unfortunately. Um, you know, Kenny Pickett's another guy that I want to see do well. Um, also, because, you know, we got the same first name, of course. But um, I, he, he might not be the guy, you know. Um, and if you're going to contend in this conference, you need an elite quarterback. And the Steelers don't have that. Um, you know, we didn't see Joe Burrow in the playoffs this year because he was hurt. 
Um, you know, I, I mean, I did briefly mention, you know, the Browns, but, um, you know, Deshaun Watson, if he could turn back the clock and be the Deshaun Watson uh, before everything, which I don't think is going to happen, you know, there's another team. You know, you look at the Colts with Anthony Richardson coming back and, you know, what he was able to do before. I mean, he, he looked like he was going to be really good this year, and then he got hurt. Um, so, I mean, well, I guess we'll pump the brakes with him because we got to see how he is next year. But, you know, and, and I don't want to give up on Trevor Lawrence either. I think it's a common, it was a combination of a lot of different things as to why the Jags, you know, had their collapse. He was part of it, but also because he was hurt, you know. So, um, but, you know, you look at all these teams. A lot of the all these te- a lot of these teams have, you know, good quarterbacks that, you know, can and also the Chargers with Herbert as well. Uh, I forgot to throw him in there too. Um, the steel the Steelers don't have. It doesn't look like the Steelers have that, and they need to. Um, they need to figure it out. Um, there, there could be changes on the way. Maybe it's time to move off of Tomlin and go in a different direction. Um, you know, I give him a lot of credit for being able to, you know, not finish with the losing record. My lights are flickering, I guess. Um, that was weird. Um, you know, I, I give Tomlin a lot of credit for being able to. All right, there it goes again. Why are my lights flickering? Hopefully, I don't lose. Uh, hopefully, we don't lose power, lose connection here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I give Tomlin a lot of credit for um, being able to, you know, finish with a winning record every time he's, you know, every season he's been a coach for the Steelers. Um, but other than the Super Bowl, which happened many years ago, um, the Steelers really haven't done much. And they actually haven't won a playoff game since 2016. And that was back when they, uh, when, you know, the Killer Bees were still... Uh, still around, and, um, you know, Alex Smith was playing quarterback for the Chiefs, and the Steelers won that game um, in Arrowhead. And uh, I think I think they only – I think Chris Boswell was the only kicked field goals. I don't think the Steelers scored a touchdown in that game. They won, like, 18-10, to 10 and Chris Bo- – yeah, Chris Boswell kicked, like, six field goals. That was the last time they won a playoff game. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe it's time for a change. Um, so – but let me know what you guys think about this game from yesterday. Uh, we're going to take our uh, second break of the show. But before I do that, I just want to remind you guys once again to tip or donate give, and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is streamelements.com slash slash tip. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is streamelements.com slash slash tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below so when we come back from our second break of the show uh we'll talk about um the uh last uh wild card game super wild card game that we did not uh get to and that's from uh saturday the chiefs and the dolphins the chiefs winning 26 to 7 we'll get into that when we come back from our second break so with that being said stick around and we'll be right back here on the gsmc football podcast 